Hi guys, this is Craig Rivers from Rivers End Outdoors. Uh, I've been cleaning up some stuff around the ranch lately, cleaning out my barn, my, my man cave, and uh, kind of going through some stuff. And and uh, so I ran across, across all of my military collection, actually not all of my military collection, but a bunch of it. So I thought I'd show you guys some of this stuff. So come along with me and let's check it out. Okay, so a lot of this stuff I had for years and years and years since I was a little kid. Um, and I didn't really start collecting it for any particular reason. I just like old military stuff, so that's kind of why I started. Um, a lot of it I found laying around in different places and that that's, you know, more along the lines of really what got me going. An example is, is this mortar shell or I think it's a mortar shell was hanging on my water tank house and what it was is it was the level that showed me what the water level was in my tank house and I finally went up there and pulled it off and I got a got a couple of them so I thought they were kind of cool but these old style bayonets <clears throat> maybe you guys know what they are um, this one has kind of like a canvas frog on it. Uh, there's every one of them I have is different. Everyone's slightly different. Some have square edges, some have round edges, some have you know different sized rifle barrels, different style clips, but they're virtually the same. Now, when I was younger, you could get these things for ten bucks at the at a uh, flea market or even at a gun show. They're only twenty bucks, and I got. I, you know, they were cheap enough that I picked up a bunch of them. I never really knew why I collected them. Never knew what I wanted to do. And um, some of them are really nice. Like this one here is really nice. I'm not sure exactly what it says on it. It's German for sure. Got proof marks. Matching scabbard, really cool. But, um, so, you know, random things like grenades. You know, what the heck do you do with all this stuff? It's really all for display. I pretty much just display it in my man cave. Um, now, a lot of these, if you really think about it, this is a good bushcraft survival type knife for being out in the jungle and hacking stuff. I mean, that thing is thick. It, this thing is as good as an ax or better. Um, I'm assuming it's some kind of a material, uh, mil, uh, mil, excuse me, some kind of a military item. Um, it actually says 1918 on the scabbard. Brower Brothers. Has some initials on it. Has a lead liner in there. That thing's pretty cool. You know, and then of course I got these standard bayonets. Um, U.S. style bayonets. Fiberglass sheath. Got two, this one's in really good shape. Got two of them. This one's got a broken handle. I imagine I can get a handle for it. Um... Some of the stuff you guys might know what they are. Comment, make, you know, give me some comments. Tell me what's what I got here. This thing looks like a, you know, it looks like a nail. And, you know, it's obviously a bayonet. Pretty cool. Um, so, again, I never really collected this stuff on purpose. But it's just, wow, this one's got the Cosmoline on it. It's got Cosmoline on it. I don't know where these come from or what they're for. Now this one here, some of you might recognize it. This I found in the field. You can see it's really pitted and rusted. Um, it was so bad that the backbone here, the backbone here was rusted out. 
and I actually arc welded that back together and then filed the heck out of it, put a new handle on it. You know, it, it's funky and it's kind of rusty, but you know, it could be pretty handy. Um, this is a, some kind of a bayonet. I don't know where it came from. This was in my family for years and years. Um, it was actually in the rafters of the garage when I was a little kid. Uh, the number with the numbers with the scabbard are not matching. It's got some kind of script on the back. It says 1880. Looks French to me. Well built. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, okay, now these two knives here. Let me come around and show you these knives. I don't believe these knives are real. Um, well, for one thing, I don't have the scabbard for this one. I mean, that is really cool. Nice wall hanger, beautiful. Uh, my mom knew an old guy that had these and she knew I was starting to collect knives. So for one, one year for my birthday, she got me these. Now this one, I definitely do not believe is real. Uh, I'm supposed to say in blood and honor, which I believe that's what that says. However, it says 1940 on there. That date don't seem right to me. Actually, it does, with the exception of it says made in Germany in English. So I would have to say this is a reproduction. It's a beautiful knife, but kind of a shame. I mean, I'd like to have a real one. This is, and I got a few of these. I got a couple more in the house. It's a beautiful sword here. It's got a nice scabbard with some jeweling on it. Um, these are swords that somebody like the Shriners or the Knights Templars or the Masons would use. It's basically a lodge sword. And if you see parades with the Shriners, you'll see them with their swords and everything. I want to say this one's a Knight's Templar's one because it's got a picture of a knight here and it's got the cross on here. Pretty cool though. So, collecting all this stuff, I mean, it's cool if it's something you like to do. And uh, like I say, it was kind of a collection of stuff that I sort of fell into over the years. Just found a thing here, found a thing there and started adding it all up. Now, I will say when everything hits the fan and uh, you need some weapons or you need some things, some of this stuff like this knife right here, this is good trading stock. You could trade this for some ammo. Uh, you know, a couple cans of beans if you had to. I mean, it's this is a good item. And uh, people are going to be looking for this sort of stuff. And it won't matter what it is. Um, you know, we used to call some of these things pig stickers. And uh, so you never know. I mean, it's good good to have some some stuff for trading stock. The other thing is, is my in my man cave when I get everything all laid out, I got a lot lot more stuff. When I get everything laid out and up on the wall or hanging in my man cave, I think it'll look pretty cool. Um, it's all good conversational stuff. Some of the stuff I don't know really what it is. I think this is an incendiary grenade. This is a practice grenade. It's got holes in both ends. This thing is some kind of a grenade on a launcher. This is a practice grenade. It's got a hole in the bottom. Don't really have anything that's real. 
So anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed my uh, little show of my collectibles here. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully you enjoyed it. I have a lot more stuff I'll be bringing out over time as time goes on as I clean things up. I just retired, so I'm kind of trying to go through and clean everything up, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everything done. I've been really busy because we recently had floods, so I'm cleaning up a lot of that stuff. Um, so again, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, so... I hope you're all doing good out there. Things are getting kind of rough in the world with what's going on with, you know, the you know, the wars and whatnot and more COVID, more stuff going on. So hang in there guys and I will see you in the next video. This is Craig Rivers. I right, bye now.